Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to be doing a reading for Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Alright, let's see. Please keep in mind this is general. This is not going to be everyone who watches story. Some pieces may be your story and some pieces will be someone else's story that's watching. Don't try to force the reading. We got here manifestation. We got here burned out. Trial and error. So it looks like here yeah there are some things you're manifesting a relocation i feel like you're not aware of this or you don't know this i feel like it's going to come by surprise cancers but it looks like here manifestation you're manifesting a change in your home some sort of change in your home it feels like a relocation but for some of you this change in your home could be some of you working in your home but i really feel like someone or relocating for work or plans to relocate. There's something about a move that you're manifesting. But I feel like because you're so burnt out and yeah, it says not taking care of yourself, a lack of control, all work, no life, having too many irons in the fire. I feel like you're so exhausted and so tired and burnt out. You don't even realize that this is coming or that this is happening. I feel like it's going to catch somebody by surprise when it does happen because I feel like I feel like who this is for they weren't even expecting to move and then all of a sudden here it is that it just falls in someone's lap some of you may be expecting but I'm giving I feel like somebody's going to be surprised when it does happen I'm also getting here energy around body body image yeah obstacles challenges possible delays i feel like someone is burnt out with so many um delays why am i picking up something around body someone may be trying different um like experiments when it comes to like their health or when it comes to like their body when it comes to like their looks i just feel like someone is having an issue or feels ashamed about something on their body or something to do with their body and trying different things to try to um, remedy it. But I'm seeing here burnt out is what's challenging you, feeling burnt out. We got here karmic justice coming in. You, yeah, see the unseen. That's what I'm saying. You don't even realize that, that there is something coming your way. Because like I said, you've been drowning in, you know, issues. Some of you have been working like overtime, really busy when it comes to your work. The unseen. Working behind the scenes. You don't see, see, not seeing the full picture. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like someone does not realize or they not, there, something is going to manifest. That's going to cause a great change in your home, a great change in your life. And be, but you've been focused on working so much that this is going to catch you off guard. I feel like there's been some disappointment, some sadness and some, some, and some regret you have abundance that's coming along with this karmic justice. Financial blessing. Rewards for your efforts. Money flows into your life. That's unseen. That's what's unseen for you. You're manifesting it and don't even know it. Because I feel like it's happening, but this is the energy that you may be in. Feeling sad, feeling down, feeling burnt out because you've been dealing with so many challenges, so many obstacles, delays. Maybe feeling impatient, like when is this going to happen? But there's something going on around, uh, behind the scenes, some sort of working that's going on behind the scenes. Magic is happening behind the scenes to bring this into your life. Yeah, a renewal. 
and I'm seeing um, a reconciliation with this renewal. Apology. Someone may be coming to ask for an apology, Cancers. Yeah, you know what I'm getting here? I feel like, um, I feel like this fire, whoever is coming, I feel like there's been like quietness or this is someone that you haven't spoke to in quite some time. And then suddenly this fire picks up. All of this energy is poured into you from this person. Whoever this person is, you have not talked to. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like for some of you, this has been for quite some time. You and this person haven't talked. And I feel like even when you were talking to them, things were like really slow. It wasn't moving anywhere. Someone could have maybe even lost interest because the other one was not putting in any effort. And then all of a sudden, though, with this reconciliation, like there's like this whole new burst of energy, like this whole new burst of fire and a whole lot of effort being put into reconciling with you. Because it's like for a long time, nothing was happening. But then here comes this extreme passion, all this action. You, I, I just I also feel like this feels like a theme in your life, too. Where I feel like you're going to be surprised by things suddenly happening in your life. Things suddenly picking up after facing all of these um, blocks. Because I'm also getting here. I feel like, um, I don't know if this is the same person or a different person. But I feel like you got over someone. I feel like you got over someone. And I feel like it was hard, but you finally got over someone. And I feel like the person, because it feels like it could be multiple people coming in. Because I'm seeing dating for, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, lovers. Uh, yeah, lovers. Yep, yeah, lovers. Lovers. I'm getting, yeah, I'm, feel, I'm seeing multiple lovers for you. But I definitely feel like there was one of these lovers who was not showing any interest. And like I said, um, now they're, they're going to be coming in all hot. I'm also getting you got over someone that was difficult to get over. It was difficult to get over this person. Hmm. What's this about, Spirit? What is this feeling? What's, what is this about? What are you showing me with this? Because I just keep feeling like you got you got over someone that it was hard to get over. And I'm hearing all work and no play. I feel like you've been focusing a lot on your work. We got here the death card. See, I told you, you got over something. An ending. Yep, something you were struggling with. That's what I'm saying. There was something that you were burdened by. And I feel like in the... It feels like multiple things. Because if you know that she's carrying multiple wands. So let's just say one of these wands was a person... That I feel like you were in relationship with or you were connected to some way, somehow you were connected to this person. And I feel like you were like just really into them and you probably thought there could never be anyone else in this world for you. But I feel like, uh, you know, maybe you guys broke up or whatever. It ended. But I feel like it took you some time to get over it. And it's like, finally, you are over it and you're in a different place. So much so, I feel like you're in a place where you're ready to explore new romantic relationships. I feel like you've been on a, an adventure. Because even though, uh, like I said, you got 10 wands. I feel like multiple wands have to do with relationships that you were in. It feels like you've been on some sort of adventure when it comes to relationships. More so like a roller coaster. So I feel like you've always had like these highs and lows when it comes to relationships. But with this death card... I feel like you got over it, over something that you struggled with getting over. Yes, especially it was very toxic too. Some of you, this was a, the devil. Yep, toxic. You were struggling with a toxic relationship and it was hard to get over it. Because you got the chains. That's what I'm saying. You see the chains? I can't show it all the way on YouTube, but there's chains. You were bound to someone that you probably thought you would never get over and be unbound from, right? 
and it's like it's over with for you. Some of you are definitely interested in uh, new love. Yeah, because I feel like you left this behind. You struggled to get over it, but you finally left it behind. And, and I feel like if you were to be with someone, it would have to be someone new for you. Whoever this group of, of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, this reading is for, I feel like this is a group of people that are interested in new love. Someone new. Not someone that caused any burdens or stress in their life. Because it's like you just got over that and you're not interested in going back to it. We got here family coming in. There's a phone call. You're going to get some sort of phone call from a family member. When this phone call comes, whatever the conversation is going to be, you're going to have to make a decision. This may be someone from a distance to help you identify who this family member is. I don't feel like they live near you. They may live at a distance from you. I feel like whoever this family member is, they had to find some information. I don't feel like they had your phone. I don't feel like this person has your phone number. I feel like they connected with another family member to get your telephone number. Yeah, I don't feel like you're very open to this person, though, Cancer. Now, keep in mind, like I said, this is a family member. I don't feel like you're open or you're receptive. It's not you're not coming across mean or anything, but maybe you and this person had some sort of riff. Maybe there was some sort of issue at some point, but you're not coming across mean. It just it's just like you're not open either. You're good. That's what, that's what it feels. Like. It's just like I'm good. Um, but I don't know, this person, is, this family member is going to con contact you and I feel like they had to reach out to another family member to ask for your telephone number. But you are going to have to make some sort of decision when you speak to this person because I feel like this person is calling you with some sort of like opportunity. Yeah, this is a family member calling you with an opportunity. And I feel like money... There's, it's like a it's like a number of things that come into play with this opportunity. So I feel like it could affect your money. It could affect your love life. It's just like I feel like this opportunity is something that's not um, small. It's this this will make a big deal in your life. It could change your life for the good or for the bad. I don't know, but it could definitely have a profound change on your life. So I feel like you're gonna have to really sit down and think about this opportunity. Because it seems like it could have, it's like, it's again, it doesn't feel bad. It's just a matter of the changes that's going to come with this. And I feel like it's going to require uh, some sort of risk. And I also feel like you may feel confused by it. Whoever this person is um, in your family that's reaching out to you, Cancers. I feel like this is someone that has some sort of regret. So something did go wrong here. I feel like this is someone who, whoever it is in your family, I feel like you guys had a, re a relationship or a connection. Like there was like love there. Like you, you could have enjoyed um, being together. Maybe your kids even played together or you played together as kids. Or this is someone that played with you when you were a kid. Take it how it resonates. But I'm seeing here something connecting to kids or a child, right? But I feel as though you were definitely this shoulder that this person could lean on or just someone. It just feels like you both loved each other. This and the, whoever this family member is or you guys were like close. But it feels like that's why I say I feel like you feel and I'm not saying I don't know. I wasn't there. OK, I'm just telling you guys what the energy is. I feel like you feel good about it, meaning that you don't feel like you did anything wrong. The other person, on the other hand, they actually feel like they did do something wrong and they have regrets. They have regrets over whatever it is that happened. I also feel like this person did not try to fix the relationship. That's that's one of their biggest regrets is that they didn't try to fix things with you. They just tried to ignore it or act like whatever happened between the two of you didn't happen. 
Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, I'm really getting here energy of cancers feeling like someone was, you know, someone is feeling like the bad guy and you're feeling like the good guy. Meaning that you know that you were good to this person and you withdrew yourself from this person. And I do feel like this person uh, misses, misses that connection, misses what you brought into their life. They really miss what you brought into their life. But at the time when you guys split, I feel like when you went your separate ways, I don't feel like this person tried to rectify it. I feel like they just ignored it or, you know, they didn't feel wrong at that time. But as time has progressed, they're now starting to, they started to feel bad about it. And I feel like it was lopsided. I feel like you may feel like you gave more than what they gave. I feel like you don't miss them because they didn't, you may feel like they didn't add much to your life. They miss you because you did add to their life. Yeah, I told you there's an opportunity coming. Ace of Pentacles. And this is the Ace of Cups. So whoever this person is, um, that's going to be reaching out to you. I told you this is a new opportunity. This is someone that that has love for you. And I'm hearing this is someone that misses you. Yeah, see, you guys could have been like two peas in the pot at one time. Or you guys were like really close. Hmm. I just feel like this is someone you just could have been there. Maybe you helped them at some point when they were down. But again, I feel like it was lopsided. Um, let me see. Tell me about this person. Mm, what happened? It seems like things could have gotten, things got bad at one point. And I'm seeing here that um, there was something going on with religion. Maybe someone was religious. That may help you. Someone may um, read the Bible or they connect with the Bible. We got here toxic boiling point. I feel like you could have reached your boiling point. For some of you, this could have been a family member that you worked with or you went into business with. And I also want to mention too, remember I was talking about the body thing. It, it, it just came back up to me. I feel like someone may be having issues when it comes to their image, their body, their looks. Because you're going to be getting a lot of attention. Like I said, I feel like people, dates, lovers, like people are going to be approaching you. And I feel like that may trigger some sort of insecurity. Because I feel as though you've been, like I said, all work and no play. So you haven't really had an opportunity to date. So I feel like you've been off the dating scene. And now you got these people coming in and I feel like with this, it says right here, not taking care of self. So someone may felt like they let themselves go. And so I feel like having, um, some more, some sort of like self image issues around these dates, you know, feeling a little bit insecure. We got see money trees is coming in. Yeah. Oh, it says here a wise investment. Whoever this person is, like I was saying, this is someone that's, this is a family member. And I feel like you guys could have maybe worked together at some point, or this is what's definitely coming up now. Like they're going to want to work with you some way, somehow they are trying to, um, they're going to give you some sort of opportunity and they're coming with really, um, loving feelings. Again, I'm not really picking up like bad energy, like meaning that this is not saying you need to work with this person. I just don't feel like they're coming to try to hurt you. I feel like this is someone that actually does love you and they want to work with you some way, somehow. They may want to invest in you, give you some sort of money. They may even ask you to move. This could probably be part of this relocation because I told you guys, I feel like they live at a distance from you. They may ask you to move where they are because of some sort of opportunity. Okay. 
Anything else for cancers? We got here the four of pentacles is coming. Look at here. We got the seven of wands. So what I'm seeing here, cancers, now, hmm. I'm getting here a um an interesting energy. I don't know what yeah, here's the Queen of Cups and then the Ten of Swords. Oh Cancers. Let me see who what this is. Spirit, is this another person? Is this another person or is this the same? Uh, it's just, or is this the family member? Because I'm not sure. Because I know you got a family member, but I'm, I'm I'm not sure if this is the same family member or if this is a different person. Oh, okay, okay. Now we're yes. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Now I'm starting to see. There's two people. There's another person. Yep. Now we got here a clueless woman. Yeah, there's another person coming in. This is representative of two people, Cancers. I feel like there is someone. Let me get the card out. Someone is very stubborn. And we got teenagers. Okay, yeah, this is another person. Something is going on here with a teenager. So I don't know if this is like your child or remember I told you kids. Remember I said there was something about kids. So there is another person that's a kid showing up. They're coming in as a teenager or this could be someone that's like very young or younger energy, childish energy. Why is this person showing up? I feel like there's their actions are reckless. So someone's teenager or there's something around a young person, a young, a very young adult. If they're not a teenager, they're a young adult, um, a very young adult. Okay. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even say that they're over 21. Okay. But I feel like whoever this teenager is, or this could be your child, take it how it resonates. I feel like there is an issue. There is definitely an issue. Between the both of you though. I feel like it's the both of you. But this does not feel like this family member. The other family member feels more so business. But then this situation with this teenager. It feels more destructive. It's like a rebellious. It feels like this is someone that's rebellious. And it, feel, it still feels like it's tied to family. We got here evil eye. And look see ancestor guardian. So I feel like there is a young, a teenager or someone in transition. And I feel like this person is resentful, stubborn, and set in their way. And I feel like how you may know who this person is, they may have lost a grandmother. Or this could even be you at a younger age. Take it how it resonates. Flip the stories how you want to. I'm telling you that there is an energy of someone that's a teenager or when they were a teenager. I feel like they lost their grandmother or they lost um, someone that was older that was very close to them. When they were a child, they lost this person though, when they were younger. And I feel like they became very rebellious. And I feel like this person is mad at you, Cancer, because they feel like you stood your ground. So, so like I say, take it how it resonates. They, they feel like you're, um, like you don't back down. Maybe they're able to run over other people, but they can't run over you. There's something about this person's actions that's showing up. So you got two things going on when it comes to family. You have here a distant family member that's going to want to you know, um, present you with this opportunity, a financial opportunity, and it will require you to have to, I feel like really have to relocate. You may have to relocate with this, or there may fly you out or something. There's definitely something to do with distance. And I don't feel like it's, uh, figuratively speaking, I feel like it's physical distance, meaning you live in different parts of, you know, your state or your country. Like it doesn't feel like you can just drive and be there within 20, 30 minutes. It would take hours. And then I'm also seeing here a young adult or a teenager. 
that is struggling and I feel like they how you could recognize them they lost their grandmother when they or some older person or someone that they were closer to when they were young and I feel like they're mad and they're rebellious and they have an issue with you because I feel like you you you're not backing down and they're holding on to something they may not even talk about it because it says here watching you they could be mad at you and not even tell you about it like you probably wouldn't know because I feel like if this is someone that's in that teenager mindset they don't know how to communicate which is why I feel like their actions will be more reckless let me um, push this down I feel like they have uh, more reckless actions so it's like I feel like this is someone that you can tell by who I'm talking about by their actions because I feel like there's there's recklessness in what they do we got here the magician coming in what is this magician about I'm gonna look a little bit more into this opportunity in a second because I, I want to see if I could find out um, a little bit more for you and that magician is goes back to that manifestation you're manifesting something that you were created for. You were made strong for this. What you're about to manifest. And I also am getting here very smart. With this Queen of Swords. I feel like uh, there's like an energy around being very smart. And here's this Eight of Cups. So we saw the Eight, Nine, and Ten of Cups. And then I'm seeing here the Moon. See two people. See, there's two people. There's two people that's um, that I feel like you're going to be dealing with in your family. One is a teenager or a young adult, and then you have here another person that's uh, that's not a young adult. That may be, you know, but someone that's older. But I feel like uh, let me see what else is coming through. Spirit, what else can you tell me about this? I really feel as though people will look to you, Cancer, and be proud of you because of the things that you have manifest and how you didn't back down. You'll see, even right here, burnt out, but you kept going. I feel like it won't be in vain. And I, I'm also seeing when it comes to uh, these two people... I feel like there's still going to be this energy of not backing down. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm not seeing like a kumbaya moment. I don't know what's going to happen. Because it seems like you're going to get, it seems like you may get disappointed or you may find out something. Because this is the moon card right here. Hmm. Tell me more about cancers. I need to get another deck. We got short term. Um, quick fling endings time. That's what I'm saying about relationships. Yeah, your relationships have been short term. Remember I was talking about how um, I feel like you haven't been in anything serious and I feel like you know maybe the things that you were in they did not last or they didn't get off the ground. There could have always been an issue, right? And so I feel like you haven't really been on the dating scene or you haven't had a serious relationship. And that's why I'm saying, like, I feel like you're mad because you're going to be some sort of magnet with this magician. You're just like you're manifesting really quickly and rapidly and people see something in you, something magical and something powerful within you, something strong within you, too. And it's you're attracting these people. That's why you even got people coming. You're going to have people coming back, coming back into your life because they miss those cups. They miss the way that you made them feel, the way that you nurtured and loved and poured into them. But I feel like you're standing up for yourself and you pull back those cups. And then obviously these people have a problem when you pull it back. And now they're coming back because they miss those cups and they want to be around you. Hmm. Hmm. 
yep dark haired female intense so there is something going on as it pertains to a dark haired female it could be one of these it feels like it's one of these family members still and then we got here passion coming in chemistry passionate feelings see that's what i'm saying i feel like a relationship or multiple relationships and then you have this family member thing that's coming through we have reconciliation chemistry passionate feeling that's where you're headed towards so i feel like this energy right here there's something off about it what is cancer going to do when it comes to this family situation because it feels like walking away because of something that wasn't brought to your attention that you later find out about the Empress is coming through. Tell me about uh, tell me about this Empress. Ch Cancer Chariot. You may have to stand up, Cancer, to someone, a powerful female, a powerful feminine. Like this may be like a matriarch in your family. I feel like you may have to stand up to this person. Why? This could be your this could be your mom or someone that you maybe look to like a mom. Because I feel like they're going to be trying to tell you what to do. And you're going to you're not going to have it. Because I, I like I said, I feel as though that something was kept from you. And once you find out, I feel like you're going to just walk away from these family members that's trying to reconcile with you. And I feel like you're going to be disappointed because I feel like you wanted to believe that maybe they changed or you just wanted to give it a second chance or whatever, but only to find out something. And I feel like feeling, you know, really disappointed by it. We got, yeah, see the page of swords, a conversation. Yeah, there's something going on as it pertains. Yeah, and I'm seeing here the devil card too. There is something, again, this is the second devil. So these are like toxic situations in your life and you're not going to be having it because you're stronger now. You've manifested strength. You're, you manifested your voice. So whereas in the past with these family members, maybe you didn't have the words to articulate, which is probably why, you know, this teenager could have, could be symbolic for you not knowing how to, um, you know, communicate your feelings and you could have held back on your feelings. And I'm also seeing, like I said, some of you, this could also be symbolic for someone that's a teenager in your life that's now experiencing the same thing. However, I feel like this is someone that's having a hard time changing, but take it how it resonates with you. Now, I feel like there's something going on here with this empress, like a matriarch or um, a powerful feminine in your family. I feel as though that something was said I feel like something unhealthy with this devil card showing up. Something, maybe there was some gossiping or talking in secrecy. There was something in secrecy because we saw that moon energy with two people. There was something in secrecy that was said. And I feel like you're going to have to go up against this matriarch. And I feel like you're going to say something to them. You're not going to be giving them what they want though. We got the two of pencils. It feels like playing both sides. Yep, family. This is family. Yeah, I feel like this empress plays both sides. That's what I'm getting here. So whoever this woman is, this empress, this empress was playing both sides. And they could have been uh, talking about you, but also talking to you about this other person. We got, yep, see, three of cups. See, three, three. You see what I'm saying? That's what I feel like. This is family. And I feel like someone was going back and forth between this triangle. Because I feel like it's an empress, you, and then someone else. Remember I said someone was trying to get your number, get more information. I feel like they were talking about you. And then here comes that younger person. Here comes the empress again. There's something going on with the mother-child connection. So we got two empress coming through and then like I said here goes the royal card 
and I feel like travel. So these two, these two empress may be sisters. This, so this could be like a mother and an aunt for you. Or you could be a mother, but I'm definitely getting here that there's something going on with two mothers. And I also feel like you. And I'm also picking up two young adults. I'm getting, now I'm getting the second young adult. So someone may, how you could recognize someone is that they have a child that's young. So I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Let me see what the uh, what the thing get, what the theme is around this situation, though, because I feel as though um, there was something that was being said with that page of swords. Hmm. What is this about? Silent treatment. Yes. Access denied. Look at that. Refuse to talk. Access denied. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like you're not going to talk to these people once you find out what was going on. Because it feels like two sisters, two adult sisters, though. You know, gossiping. And I feel like playing, like, and they may all talk about each other. And I feel like you don't want any parts of it because you're, with this point of source coming in, you're coming across very intelligent and, um, you know, someone that can see through the BS too. Very knowledgeable, emotionally mature. And I feel like you're going to, like I said, find out some things that were being said amongst a group of people about you. And I feel like, yeah, deny access. Look, I quit. <laughs> it's like walking away. Yeah, walking away from the family. Walking away. And or, or for those of you who remember the job situation, I'm not having anything to, I'm, I don't want any parts of this job opportunity. Listen to your body. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, because see, we're seeing here, because it may sound like a wish come true. Yep opportunity to move get off the grid and yeah see this uh this relative is apologizing to you as some sort of boss yeah and this was a relative that you were close to but something happened so i feel like let me tell you guys this i'm gonna tell you this this is what i'm definitely getting remember i said the mother and you walking away i don't i'm i really feel like this access to night and silent treatment is going to come towards the person you least suspect so let's say this is your mom and this is or whoever this this is the person that you know you're cool with and you wouldn't suspect that they were doing something behind your back and then let's say this other empress is like um an aunt i'm gonna tell you i'm getting here like i'm really getting something isn't right when it comes to communication there was some sort of misinformation so that's what i'm saying listen to your body and listen to your intuition because i feel like this is going to get confusing because i'm remember here the seven of cups i i feel like one person you need to uh you know watch it with and it feels like a mother but then there's another mother that i feel like is genuine so this is what I'm saying. It's, it's starting to feel because I feel like there was some sort of lies going around or someone was just talking and gossiping and it's just what they do. But something got misconstrued to the other one. You see what I'm saying? I hope this is making sense because I feel like it will be confusing for you when you go through it. And I want to say to you, trust your intuition because I feel like it's not what it looks like. And what I mean by it's not what it looks like, the person that you are thinking about like, like, you're, like, I feel like if this is a mother, your mother, I don't feel like they're being honest. I feel like this is the person that's actually talking about you to this other person, this other relative. And I feel like this other relative is really believing what this um, mother is saying and going off of that. You see, so it makes them look at you in a, in a particular light that wasn't true. And I feel like wanting to come back around and reconcile with you. But I feel like you're going to find out. That this mother, or whoever this first empress is, said something about you to try to keep the two of you apart. That's what I'm getting here. Juggling both of you so that you, because they knew that the two of you would not talk to each other. So it's like they were trying to keep the two of you apart. 
that's when it's starting. That's when I'm starting to see. And see, I feel like um, you you refuse to talk to each other, or there was just some sort of issue. I feel like someone was playing the middleman here. And that's why it says, be careful before you completely turn it down. Because I feel like initially you're going to be ready to walk away from it all. But get more information. That's why I want to tell you guys. Get more information because there's more to it that meets the eye. And we got here, yep, see, take a break. Really pause and reflect. Because see, look at here, the eight of swords. You see what I'm saying? See, you're going to be mentally tangled up. And thinking about the situation in a completely negative way. But I, I feel like there's more to this story. You need to really take a break. And yeah, you know, just maybe stop talking to all of them so you can clear your head and really get to the heart of the matter so that you can see things clearly. Because in this energy, you can't see things clearly. But if you take a break, you're going to get some sort of clarity over what was painful and what was hurtful with the third parties, a triangle in a family type of situation, something being said. Yeah, here comes Cherry again. Yep, see, I have to make a decision. And here comes this Ace of Wands. There's something that's going to happen that's going to help shift you forward with this Ace of Wands. There's some sort of action. I want to know what this is. What is this action that's going to happen for Cancers? Or some sort of decision that you're going to make. You're going to pick up one of those aces. Ooh, and it's the t oh, here's another ace of wands. You got another one. You got two things. A king of cups. And see, yeah, I definitely feel like um, something is going on with someone's body. So you got two. You got two things that's going to spark. Um, that's going to spark something in you. That's why you're going to have a choice to make. But I feel like. One is long term. That's going to like long term investment when it comes to work. We got the three of pentacles. One is going to be with that work situation. And then the other one is going to be in the romantic connection. So you got, that's what I'm saying. Manifesting. You're manifesting something around your work. That's going to set you up financially where you're going to be good money wise. You're going to be comfortable when it comes to money. Then you have another spark. That's going to ignite this fire in you. That's coming from someone that's in love with you. Things are about to shift. And I feel like this shift is going to take place. After some sort of choice is made in your life. Alright. So uh, I hope that made sense for you guys. It, it, it feels like you're going to definitely need to take a moment to pause. Because it's going to get murky. But let me see. Let me go ahead and close out your reading. Final messages. Oh, let me pull. I wanted to see a little bit more about what we could find out about this opportunity work-wise. I'm really interested in knowing what you're going to be doing. Spirit, what can you tell me about this work situation? Yeah, remember I told you guys about the, the see, look at here, an older woman with another person. It makes, this is making me feel like mentor. I also feel too, this may be you and that relative. You and that relative working together on something. And here's the Queen of Pentacles. I can't show the card, but here's the Queen of Pentacles. Some sort of work project. And I feel like it's, it may be with that relative. But you have to get to the heart of a particular matter because it, it looks really murky and things are not as it seems. The person that you should trust, that you thought you could trust the most, was playing both sides. Let me see. Tell me about this work opportunity for cancers. Oh. Networker and health. We got here. Networking can help your money grow. See, networking, working with someone else. It says you are trying to do too much. You need support. It's okay to trust help. See, burnt out, doing it by yourself. Not making much progress, but here comes someone that wants to collaborate with you. And then we got here, help. It's time to improve your financial health and habits. Work smart, not hard. Because whatever you're doing could be stressing you out. Anything else about cancers with this work opportunity? 
beauty yeah it makes so much sense whatever it is for some of you because see look sh this is someone that's naked right here i can't show you the body look someone could be sketching so this could have something to do in the beauty industry this may be makeup this could even be clothing for women um something around that remember we talked about body image earlier too so you may be doing something that you know came from a need in your life and then you have this relative that wants to invest or collaborate with you and it says here somehow your looks will boost your earning power makeup artists hairstylists cosmetics or anything enhancing others beauty your inner world must match your outer world for things to change see that's what i'm saying someone does not feel good within their body and I feel like that's going to help propel someone. It's like there's a lack in your life and you're going to use that lack to make money off of it. That's what I'm getting, okay? And for others, it could be in the health industry. And yeah, see, your luck is about to change. And look at here. See? You and this person talking. You and this person really sitting down. Whoever this family member is, I feel like People were trying to keep you apart. It says anything you do now will be very prosperous for you. If you believe that you are lucky, you'll create a, an abundance mindset. Your perspective is stifling your growth and stomping on your luck. And we talked about that, I think, like two readings ago about changing your perspective. And um, yeah, I feel like whoever this other person is, is going to want to help you because I'm seeing here a financial coach. And help you reach your financial goals. Family, marriage, therapist, grief counselor. See, family. Family. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like a family member is going to want to help you reach your goals. Wanting to invest. Wanting to collaborate. Wanting to work with you. And see, undecided. You're going to have to make a choice. That's what we're saying right here with this two of wands. And I feel like you will. And it's going to be like a very profitable choice. Designers coming through. Giving recognition. All right, let me close out with a few final messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Not the right time, so it's not happening right now. You're manifesting. Bet it's going to be better than you expected. Your success, the success that's coming your way, Cancers, is going to be better than you expected. You see, your situation will improve. Careful who you trust. Didn't I tell you guys that? Be careful because one person you may think you can trust, but you can't. But the other person that you think you can't trust is the one that's actually really coming with love. Your situation is going to improve. But keep that in mind when you're trying to, you know, figure out that situation in your family. And you are protected at the end of the day. Blessings and love to you guys. I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.